Welcome. This recording will describe the questions and demonstrate the functionality associated with screen 11.0 process simulations media fills and its associated subsections in the sterilization process validation QBR. Beginning in, sec in section 11.1 .1, general information, the bullets in this section refer to the top tabs at the top of the window and provide information about the function of each. Additionally, Clicking the light bulb icon at the top of the section window will bring up the text of the info tab in a separate window. To begin entering items, click the plus sign tab at the top. Be advised that while the first writing prompt says media fill identifier, this section is meant to ask you the critical questions associated with the media fill protocol for your facility. If there are multiple media fill protocols used within the facility, you will need to complete a separate item for each. The media fill identifier should therefore specify the media fill pro protocol you are describing. For example, protocol one. If you would like to add additional items, simply click the plus sign tab again and enter a new media fill identifier. To navigate between items, click either the list tab, which will bring you to a list of all the items you have created, or you can navigate between them using the left or right arrows at the top. From the list, you can double click the media fill identifier of your choice to open it. If you would like to reorder the items in the list, you may do so after entering a media fill identifier for each item. To do so, click the blue up or down arrow arrows to reorder the items within the list. You may also delete items at any time using the single minus sign button or delete all of the items in the list by, sh by using the button showing three minus signs. We'll say that I accidentally created an extra item, so I'll go ahead and delete it now. From the list tab, you can return to your media fill entry by clicking detail. From here, enter the filling line or lines this information relates to. If single use or stainless steel manufacturing equipment is used in the manufacturing process, check the box next to the appropriate equipment being used. A new, a new field will appear, prompting you to describe which system is used for semi-annual media fills. Here, you should provide justification as to how the system challenges worst case parameters that impact the aseptic filling of your product or products. Also note that you can use the text box to enter information or click on the icon on the, of the notepad and pencil to open the freeform text dialog box to capture your response. If using this text dialog box, please enter your text and select OK to save your answer. If other types of manufacturing equipment are used instead of or in addition to your single use and or stainless steel equipment, check the box stating other. This will introduce another field prompting you to describe the manufacturing equipment other than single use or stainless steel that is relevant to the filling lines being used. In the following fields, indicate the vial size or sizes that are used on the four media fills on the line as well as the fill volume used for each file size. As part of the first response, indicate whether a matrix approach is used and provide justification for that approach. For the fill volume of the vials, describe the fill volume and provide justification for how this adequately simulates the fill volume for the vials during production and how it covers the product contact surfaces on the inside of the vial. For additional information on what to include in your responses, you may select the hint text by clicking the light bulb for each field. Moving on to the next two fields, describe the filling time used for the media fills and provide justification as to how this simulates the total filling time used in production. Again, for these fields, you may select the hint text to find a more detailed description on information to include for these. The next question will ask you if a sterile hold time is used for your media fills. If a sterile hold time is used, select yes for this question. This will open two new fields asking you to describe the sterile hold time that's used, as well as how this hold time simulates the sterile hold time or times used in production. Note that the sterile hold time refers specifically to equipment and components used in the media fills. Similarly, for the next questions, indicate whether a lyophilization process is simulated for your media fills, as well as whether any aseptic connections are performed during the production. If you select yes, You should include a description of how the proposed media fill adequately covers the lyophilization process used, including a comparison of the hold times, any vacuum cycle, the temperature, 
and how the breaking of the vacuum is simulated, for example, a gas that is used. For aseptic connections, this should include a description of the type and number of connections made, as well as how they compare to the typical manufacturing process. If neither of these apply, simply select no, and you may move on to the final two fields. In this next field, you'll be asked to compare how personnel and process simulations compare to the personnel used during production. This information should at least include the number of personnel present in the filling room, as well as which activities are performed. Additional helpful information may include, but is not limited to, the maximum number of personnel present in the filling room at the same time and the duration of time the personnel may be present during filling. Finally, in the last field, describe the chosen interventions that are performed during the media fill and provide justification as to how these represent the worst case interventions for all manu products manufactured on the line. Once you've completed the information for section 11.1, .1, general, informa general information, navigate to section 11.1.1, .1, media fill validation over on the left. Note that on the screen, the media fill identifier will auto populate based on the media fill currently selected in the previous section. This can be seen in the media fill identifier at the top of the screen. To begin, click the green plus sign at the top you will see multiple fields populate. This will allow you to identify the media fill used for the validation. In the first three fields, identify the room number and filling lines used, the date of the media fill, the container, and the container closure type and size. For example, we'll say line one on uh, December 12, uh, 20th, 2020, using 100 mil vials and 20 millimeter stoppers. For fields four through six, please state the fill volume used for the media fill in milliliters, the number, the total number of units filled, as well as the number of units incubated. So we'll say 50%, 6,000 units filled, and 6,000 units incubated. Please note that the fields for the total number of units filled and number of units incubated will only accept numerical entries. You'll not be able to include any commas or decimals. For field seven, Identify the number of positive units after incubation by selecting your response from the drop-down menu. You can select either zero or one or more units showed growth. If you select zero, continue to the next field. If you select one or more units showed growth, a new field will appear at the bottom of the section asking you to describe the investigations into any unit that showed growth. Additionally, you should discuss the impact of the process simulation with regard to whether the data are acceptable. You can click on the light bulb icon to open the hit box to aid you in answering the question. For field eight, identify the incubation parameters used. Be sure to include temperature in degrees Celsius and length of time for each incubation performed. We'll say this it was done at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for seven days, followed by 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for another seven days. In field nine, identify if interventions during the media fill are performed according to the approved media fill protocol by using the drop down menu. You may select either interventions were performed according to the approved media fill protocol or additional interventions were performed. If you choose the former, you can continue to the next field. However, if additional interventions were performed, a new field will appear at the bottom of the section asking you to describe the additional interventions that were performed. Include a discussion for why these were performed and potential impact on the media fill. If these interventions will be included in future media fills as routine interventions, an updated media fill protocol should be included in section 14.0, evidence of formal written procedures. You can see that over on the left. Please note that a copy of the current media fill protocol that you are describing should also be described or should be submitted in section 14.0. You can click the light bulb icon in this field for this reminder. In field 10, state if the results of the environmental monitoring during the media fill were within specification by selecting a response from the drop down menu. You may select either all results were within specifications or some results exceeded action limits. If you select the former, you can move on to the next field. However, if some results exceeded action limits, 
a new field will appear at the bottom of the section asking you to describe the investigation into the results that exceed the action limits for environmental monitoring. A summary of the investigations into results that exceeded the action limit should be provided. Results for resampling, if performed, should also be included. Corrective and preventative actions should be discussed. Fields 11 through 13 are specific to process param parameters of the media fill. In field 11, state the total duration of filling in hours and minutes, for example, 12 hours. This time should include all interventions and stoppages. In field 12, state the duration of filling activities in hours and minutes as well. Provide the total time for which actual filling activities or interventions were performed. They should not include stoppages unless they are a normal part of the manufacturing operations, for example, a lunch break. In field 13, provide the line speed during the media fill. We'll say this was 12 vials per minute. Note that the line speed may be represented by whichever unit of measure you choose. This may be reported as a range from minimum to maximum or as an average line speed for the media fill. Lastly, in field 14, state the results of growth promotion testing by selecting response from the drop-down menu. Select either pass or fail. If you select pass, you may review your responses, save, and move on to the next folder, 11.2 requalification. If you select fail, however, this will open a new field at the bottom of the section, asking you to discuss the growth promotion results that failed and to describe any investigations or additional testing that was performed. The responses for section 11.1.1 media fill validation are now complete, and you should make sure to save your data by clicking the icon at the floppy, of the floppy disk at the top of the screen. Once all of the required information has been entered, you may use the data book functionality to save all of the information for future use. This can be done by pushing the button at the top right of the section that shows the blue box with the green arrow pointing upward. Once you click this button, you will see the prompt that asks whether you want to save or whether you want to copy the media fill validation information from the selected responses to the data book. A pop-up message will appear that says the data was successfully saved to the data book and the media fill validation saved to the data book within the section are specific to the section and are not available across other sections. Uh, please note that the screen can be filled out multiple times for each media fill protocol used. To continue, click on, click on the green right arrow at the top of the screen. A dialog window will pop up asking whether you would like to add or select a new media fill identifier, or if you would like to continue to the next screen. Selecting I would like to add or select a new media fill identifier and clicking OK will bring you to section 11.1 .1, general information to add information on addition, me, additional media fill protocols. Selecting continue to the next screen and clicking OK brings you to the section 11.2 requalification. Alternatively, you may just double click section 11.2 requalification to continue. On this screen, provide a description of the requalification strategy including how the currently approved media fill protocol will be reevaluated when a new product is added to the line. This should include what containers and closures are used for requalification studies and which containers and closures are covered by the bracket but are not requalified. If a matrix, split fill, or rotational approach is utilized, justification should also be provided here. Please save your responses. You have now successfully completed section 11.0 process simulations media fills.